Pass up. Yes. We'll spread the offense around. Do you see that? You see what happened there? To yes guy gaming we're back playing spike volleyball in the career mode thanks again to everybody for the support for this series and this channel it means a lot your comments and likes and all the positive feedback please keep it coming I love that I really appreciate that um, anyways we're here in the career mode we're headed to the finals of a tournament really looking forward to playing that game but first I I recruited a few players I've got this Tarek Onus and Augustin Vidal libero and hitter and they both have strong points one in reception and one at hitting but the problem is, is that they're not as good overall and skill wise as my starting players but they've got the strong points so I think I'm gonna turn them into consultants which is gonna help me recruit better I think we're gonna see how that works so let's just try it out and see um, the hitter I'm definitely turning into a consultant because he's not as good so we'll go define as a consultant in attack yep obviously cannot be undone yeah you know what like He's not as good as the other guys, so we'll we'll turn this guy. So we got a consultant. Okay, great. So I think we'll do it for this libero as well, because he's not as good. He's a good receiver, but well. He's not even that much better than the other guys, so I think we'll just take the consultant. Apologies if you guys think this is dumb, but we'll just we'll just do that. So we'll check out our staff. We got the consultants. Oh, I see. So consultants can be added to scouting. They make sure their talent in the relevant statistic is passed on to the new player. So does that mean I get more consultants who have these these good points and that the, the person I get back is gonna have skills in attack and reception? Great two skills to get, by the way. Um, so that's great. So there's a current event for Libero. He doesn't need an attack, so, but he definitely needs um, reception. So, where is it? It's European. So we don't really have a, an agent that's good with that. We just maybe will send the best guy, Alexis Vasilis. We, he, we got him new. I, I don't really know when I accumulate these new agents as well. They just kind of appear, so you gotta check periodically. So I got this guy, so I think I think maybe we'll send him, because he's 93% luck, that's pretty good. And I think we'll send Tarek Unes for reception on that libero to make sure that he, he has reception. I don't want to send the attack guy, because I don't need my libero to have good attack. So we'll send those two guys. I guess I could send another consultant, just to get 100% luck. And you know what? Why not? Let's do that. Because we got three agents. We'll send... Uh, I think we'll send Mia for 100% luck. It's the only one we got right now. And then we still got Eleanor, Debbie, and the other consultant in case another event comes up. This is only one match anyway, so I should have this after the next match. So that's definitely the way to go. So we will, so that's 200 credits. I don't even know how these V credits work. I just accumulate them after games. Oh, consultant sent will never be available again. That's an interesting point. But they make sure that they send on their ability to the next guy. Yeah, absolutely. Like, why wouldn't you do that every time? Because then you're getting back another player. If he's not as good, you make him a consultant again. Yeah, obviously. Okay, so we're here in the finals of this tournament, this World League tournament, I guess, and we're playing China. They were in our pool, and we lost to them, I'm pretty sure. But we ended up winning the pool because they lost to somebody else, and we won the tie somehow. Not really sure how that worked. But great news, well... Redemption opportunity. They beat us last time. This will be a redemption game. So let's go, China in the final. Let's do it. Here we go, China. Setter starting in one. So that means I got to serve over this way. Hit that guy. Try to take him out and stack up on the left side. I'm focused. He's not really that out. Middle. Successful block. Let's go. I'm on that shit. Get out, buddy. It's a great start. You always, always want to take out a passer so you can narrow it down to two attackers. 
Didn't take a guy out there. That's dumb. Over there. Go. Yep, on it. Set this guy. How's he feeling? Pretty good. Yes! Come on! It's a bounce. When I'm asking myself how he's feeling, I'm just seeing how his approach is. Because I've noticed that if they get a good approach, they're able to balance it down. If they have a bad approach, they're probably going to make a mistake or something. So i got to pay attention to that. So, oh, make sure it hits that guy. Yes, because he's out. We'll stack over there. Pipe, shit. Go, 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 go. Shit, I pressed B. He wasn't going to get it anyway. Dang it. All right, pass up. We're going to fight with China. Yep, nice. We'll set the outside guy. He's feeling it. Gosh, what a dig. Get out! Come on, successful block. It's so hype for the successful block. Don't tip on me. I'm gonna freaking smack that shit back in your face, punk. Woo! All right, down the line. Everybody's rotation is the same, so like the serving. Yes, come on. Let's go. You. You. Yes. I'm coming at you again. Like you know, I'm doing the exact same serve. Bit clicky on this stage though, which is okay. Stack up this way, everybody over there. You know it's going there. Yep, there's a dig. How's this guy looking? Not a good approach, a deep. Go! Block out. Yes! <laughs> Come on! I don't know what happened there. All right, here we go, spin that. Yeah, the click, just that clicking on this stage, because it's got a lot of texture, I guess. I don't know. There's a dig, set this guy. How's his approach? Not great, so hit a deep. What? Yes! He just totally screwed it up. I'll take that. Don't show me that hit. That's not the key moment in the rally. Down the line at this guy. Looking for the ace. Hit that deep corner, buddy. Yes! Come on! China, suck it! I mean, I, not the country. I mean, just this team. Sorry if you're from China. Here we go. Hit that serve again. This guy hates it. Stack the back. Uh-oh. Yep. Set this guy. He's going to hit that line. Nice hit by that guy. Whoa, great set. Wow. You see that set? This guy's contacting it up high. They have the ability to bounce, and I don't. Need to get a guy with a good jump. Yep. I think we'll run middle. Bounce that, buddy. Yes, come on. Gotta spread the offense around. Okay, where's the front row guy? Where's the setter right now? Is he in five? Yeah, so that means I gotta go over there to that guy. Take that guy out of it. Yep, he's out of it. Stack back. Almost, buddy. I love the move, though, to take out the passer. Stack two guys up on the one side, and have the other guy block middle, because you'd only need the one-on-one -on -one in the middle. Or at least, well, there, I guess I maybe I needed more, but... Yep, nice. We'll set back, and he's going to hit it, bounce it. Yes! Come on! Let's go! We freaking fired up learning how to play this game. Center's in four, so you know I'm going to serve it down the line. Lots of trouble. we got to go somewhere else. I don't know where. Sea ball. Good dig. Set the guy who just dug it. He's not in control at all. Tip it! i, I got to work in some tips. Like, there's definitely some nuance to that. Great dig! Give this guy a good set. Yes! Soft hit. Get out there. Triple block. Oh, what a dig. Hit that line. That score? Yes! When in doubt, just hit it low into the block. Each team only has one perfect reception? Let's go, boys. Let's, let's pass. Setter still in four. Let's take a step up. I'll do a static serve short. What? You guys saw where I aimed that, right? Like short. And it went out the back. Like, I get if I hit it into the net because I am short and I hit it too hard. But like, out the back? Really? Yeah, set the left side guy. The diving bump set. 
I don't know why he's... Yes! Nice! Like, it seems the best place to hit it in this game is low into the middle of the court. And the best, most accurate serve is ripping the jump serve. Yep, there's a dig. How's this guy looking? Not prepared. That's not who I set. I set X, but they set the pipe guy. Tough. Yep. Nice. Run that middle guy. Pound it to the middle. Yes! Love the sound of it hitting the floor. Like, so satisfying. Where's the setter? Setter's in two? Put some trouble in the middle. Watch it go out. <laughs> what happened? What the hell happened? Wait. They're not going to replay that? Guys, I passed that. It went over. And I guess I could still play it, but the... Weird. Weird, weird, weird. I'll take it, though. Why am I thinking about the float? Like, just rip the spin. Definitely the best serve, baby! Yes, on cue! Nice! Hit that spinner again. The same spot. Every time. Take that guy out. So what do they set? Who is hitting that? Get back and get an approach, guy. <laughs> For the set. The no approach. Team. Triple block. Indeed, hit it low into the block and just have it bounce match. around there so and get the point. Normal, nice. yes. Alright, set number two. I think I'm going to change up my tactics. I do like that back set. But I think I'll have... Hmm. I do like... I'll have to change up the tactics. I do like the one bringing the guy inside so he can bounce it sharp. Anyway, we're starting setter in one again. So are we. So I'll serve there. Net flipper ace! Yes! Come on! Let's go! Do that again. That's a perfect serve. Yes! Right through his legs! Nutmeg, baby! <laughs> Watch this. He tried to pass it. Guy goes through him, got shook right through the legs. Let's try that again. Another perfect serve. He's out, for sure. Oh, good dig! Hit that! What happened? Whoa! I thought the ball disappeared, but it went off his knee and into the sky! It's kind of fun, like, I mean, that would happen, but never that high, like, ba-boom! I got shit slammed though. I should be more upset, but I'm not. That was hilarious. Yep, great pass. Yeah, we'll set back on that. Pound that sharp, buddy. Yes! Yes! There's no block on that though. Like, he, they slammed him the play before, then no block. Alright, hit that corner with that spinner. Obviously. Yes! Right in the corner! Nice! Feels so good to hit that ace. You just see him give up on it completely. That might be out. Lucky ace! Yes! Come on! Have a technical timeout. Leading in every major category. Well, you, you know what's coming, buddy. Oh, I didn't press anything. Yep. Yep. You know they say, never miss your serve after a timeout? I totally did there. Pass up. Yes. We'll spread the offense around. Do you see that? You see what happened there? <clears throat> the play I have is the middle going back. But the middle goes out that way, and now they're both getting jammed up there. I try to have the guy bounce it, and he hits it straight down on his own side, and it ends up in the floor? I mean, some of the bugs are funny. That bug is just like, what? Come on. Here we go. Pass up. Another good pass. Where is the middle going? Nice. 
Nice. Nice. Okay. All right, here we go. Setters in five. So I'll serve that guy over there. Whoa, I totally f***ed that up. Wait. That looked in. Nah, I was out. Alright. Pass up. Shoot. Yep, great pass. See, now the middle guy goes back. Really, buddy? Good dig by that guy. I had no option to do anything on that. Gosh! Yes! Middle bounce! Love that! Coming right back. Needed that. Things are getting glitchy. They always seem to glitch up towards the end of a match, I find. Yes! Right on the line! Love that. This is such a bad angle to show aces, by the way. Like... You can't see anything. Hit that again, buddy. Yep. Okay. Yes! Successful block! Come on! I'm learning this game. Although, I, I can't say that I really did... I mean, I pressed the block button, but I can't say that, like, I meant to do that. I'll take it, though. Another solid serve. Off his head. Great play. Good dig. This outside guy's feeling it. He's ready for the approach. Yes! I wonder if like you where you're aiming and then you change it if it makes a difference. Because I was aiming angle there and I swung it back down the seam for a bounce. Alright, here we go. Yeah! <laughs> Come on! Love that! Hit that again. I'm gonna hit that all day until you stop me. Every single time, baby. Yes. That is an exploit, and I'm gonna keep doing that. Game, if you're gonna glitch out, I'm gonna abuse it. Oh, good pass by that guy. Didn't block. This guy's feeling it. Good dig by that guy. No one's there. Nice. Yes, come on. All right, here we go. Rip that spinner down the line again. A third time. Yes! <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh-oh. See, I didn't serve it as well that time. Out of bounds. Brutal. On game point, too? Missed serve after a timeout and on game point. What am I thinking? Pass up. Nice pass. Set the guy back. Oh, C-ball. I forgot it was C-ball. Like, these guys don't hit it that hard. That's why I gotta bounce it. No block. Yeah! Tournament champs, boys! Yes! They've done it. It was tough going, but they're the champions of the tournament. The men from the Canadian team take the final with a score of 2-0. Yes! And what an incredible match it was. The two teams gave it their all and were neck and neck for almost the entire game. But one team had that little something extra that made the difference and also made them champions this evening. Now they're going to lift their rightly deserved trophy. And I imagine they'll be off to a huge party right after. As for us, we're happy to have been able to provide you all with the commentary for this tournament. And we hope you'll be with us again soon for more exciting competitions. Good night. You guys taking a lap with this trophy, that's nice. Although that commentary though, hey, if you want, hey, if you guys are looking for new voice actors, give me a call. So wait, our world rank goes to number one? Or is this in the tournament? Wait, I don't understand. Are we the top team in the world? So. I'm already the world's best team. This may mean I need to up the difficulty, but I don't know. I'll have to maybe try it out. What do you, let me know what you guys think. Like, should I up the difficulty? I won the world tournament. Like, is it gonna get harder than this as we go? 
if you guys have played the career mode through further than this, let me know, like, does it get harder or do I need to actually up the difficulty if I want to really challenge myself? I know I lost a few games already, but I'm the number one team in the world. How? I mean, that's great. But, geez. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this episode of Spike Volleyball. Uh, thank you so much for watching and sticking all the way through this video. Uh, I, I appreciate all the support you guys have shown to this channel and series in the, in the last few days, weeks. Um, this game is, is really exciting. I'm, I'm starting to have a lot of fun as I'm learning how to play this game. Um, I, I'm, I am looking for a way, though, for, to increase the challenge a little bit. I, like, I don't want to introduce more bugs because that's really frustrating, but when I just exploit that same serve over and over again, you know, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. So is that harder to pull off at the harder difficulties? Let me know in the comments below if you guys have made it further than that. I'd love to hear about it. Um, and I'll kind of see how it goes moving forward. But uh, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to Yes Guy Game. We've got all sorts of other volleyball, video game related content on the channel, including Volleyball Unbound, um, Summer Heat, Beach Volleyball, um, some Women's Volleyball Championship. Um, and I hope to be pulling out a few more of those retro games in the future and uh, having some fun playthroughs of those. So um, I really appreciate the subscribe and, and thanks so much for watching and sticking all the way through this video again. Uh, we hope to see you guys next time on Yes Guy Gaming.